Apple stock price prediction on the platter. We have watched this stock get beat up a little bit here lately. And of course, in January, it had a nice run. But the, the million dollar question is, is it time to buy Apple stock or should we wait a little bit? I'm going to do the best I can in this video to do all the homework, to pass the answers of the test over and let you ace this thing. And of course, we'll take a look at some of the big names out there have been loading up on this thing. And, and to me, I always say actions go further than any words anybody can tell you. Before we get into it all though, make sure you take advantage of, of course, Weeble down below. They have $1 deposit. It's a limited time. Click the link in the description. You gotta use the link and you'll get up to 12 free stocks worth up to 30,600. Take advantage of this. And I do have the Moo Moo link where you can get a $100 deposit using the link in the description and you'll get five stocks worth up to 2,000 a piece. Put 1,000, you get 15 worth up to 2,000 a piece. And on top of that, for the Moo Moo, they have the stock screeners that'll help you out with your portfolios. Come on over to the Patreon, link down below. Join us, great community. We got the portfolios, the private videos, the Discord. Things keep growing, and I'm loading the boat this week on more stocks, so you want to come over and check that out and see which ones are crushing it. Now, let's get into the Apple. As we can see with Apple, Apple sales dropped 5% in largest quarterly revenue decline since 2016. I've been telling you that things have been too rosy with the easy money, and that easy money is now draining away. And thus, when the easy money drains away from both the consumers, we see their savings accounts just absolutely getting drained. And the money from corporations and everything, everybody starts to tighten the belt a little bit. And so as you look here, uh, you can see Apple's overall sales for the holiday quarter were about 5% lower than last year. That's because we don't have as much money. And to me, it's plain and simple. Uh, the first ever, or the first year over year sales decline since 2019. Uh, three factors hurt, and it was production issues in China effect, and, and of course, the macro environment to me. But as you can see, we get through this. And I'm going to give you an idea what the Apple stock price prediction is going to be moving forward. And we'll take a look at that. But earnings per share came in and we talked about this, but this is the latest information. It helps us decide if it's time to load the boat with Apple stock. Earnings per share, $1.88 versus $1.94. So they missed down 10%, almost 11% year over year. Uh, revenue, drop it. And, I, and I'll tell you, you can keep going through this. iPhone, they're pricey. People don't have the money they usually do. They're going to make the old phones last longer. Mac revenue, that dropped dramatically. To me, that was screaming a lot of companies out there just not loading up on the newest tech iPad. That did do well, so that was good. Other products, 13 down. Uh, services up a little bit. Gross margin still solid up one. What do we got there? Uh, one. 0.01%, so we'll take that. And then, so as we look at this and you come out and you say, okay, Mo, how do we look? Well, last week it was down about 1%. Over the last month though, 13.19. Year to date, 20.74. It's rallied off the 120s, okay? And, but the overall market has rallied. And the question becomes, if the overall market takes a tank, does Apple follow suit? And then you come to the one year and you could see we had rallies like these before. And you can see this back there about 18, 19%. This rally was big, uh, 32%. Then we come down and see where we're at here. And you can see this one, 24%. So it falls in between the last two rallies we had. And now you're seeing a little bit of a sell off here and a missed earnings. So the question is, does this thing go back down, hit new lower lows? Because you can see we have a low here, new low here, new low here. And then when we come out here, you have a new, it took a while, but they have a new lower low. And you're not having new higher highs here. You're seeing this high, a lower high, lower high. And then this right here, 155, did we beat it? No, we did not, 154. So it didn't break through. And if you look, that to me was a major test to break through. It could, depending on CPI this week, do that. Uh, but we'll wait and see. Uh, now, as you look and you say, well, where could it go, Mo? And you look at the long, longer term five years, we've been trading kind of sideways, uh, I, would, I would argue, through like 140, 160, 140, 130 range in here. And we're right back in there again, a 151 range. And so I think they're going to hold tough. And for me, watching Apple stock and some of the numbers we expect to come in, which I'm going to go over here shortly, tells me that Apple has what it takes with that that old moat around it. I always think of Warren Buffett, the, you know, buy companies have a moat that it's hard to get across and take over their business. Well, 
Apple has that moat. And we come in and take a look at what Apple is expected to do based off the analysts out there studying it. And you can see 20, what do we got here? Current year 2023, they're expected to have about $388 billion in revenue. That's fine. I was curious to see what the analysts who are covering this have the expectations of forward revenue. And you can see right here, it's about, I would argue about 10% higher revenue in 2024. And then you come down in the sales growth. This is the big one. Are they realistic? They are. Because I'm telling you, I expect a recession this year. A recession means companies like Apple who lead it, lead the, the, the industry would go backwards and they do have sales growth going backwards. And so I think this is realistic. Uh, I do believe there's going to be a major rebound in 2024. They see that as well with a 6.7% upward move. All right. And so as we continue to watch this, I'm, I believe moving forward, and somebody said, what do you see Apple at? I had it a year ago. We looked at where Apple could be. And I said, by the summer 2023, I wouldn't be surprised to see it 200. Now that was before everything kind of went, you know, just went off the tracks. And now I believe as I watch this, it might take into 2024 to get into that $200 a share range. But if we look at, at Apple being at $200 a share, and it could go lower. Obviously, we hit the recession. I still believe in 2024 sometime, we will hit the $200 a share. And based off current price, that's a little over 33% higher. It's around 33% higher from where we are now. Now, keep in mind, that price prediction is my price prediction in 2024. So in the next 22 months, I would expect this to go up about 33%. And it's not going to be a straight line up. It is going to be, I personally believe, you're going to see a little bit of a sell-off come this summer through up to it. And we might have another run up a little bit higher from where we're at now. But then I think a recession hits and you're going to get that priced in fully. Uh, and then I think they may even overprice it in. And that is going to be the optimal time to buy Apple stock. And that's probably when I'm going to load the boat with it. And at that point, I would expect it to be able to run back up to that $200 level I was telling you about which I think should happen sometime in 2024. Now, that's my opinion. What do the analysts on Wall Street think? Because I'm going to pull this up for you. So I got this tip ranks. That link is down below. And you, you can see the analysts on Wall Street right now. They have this thing at $173 a share in the next 12 months. So by February 2024, they see this thing up 15% only. Now, remember, I said sometime in 2024, we'll hit 200. They may have that as well because they did an upward revision here. And we'll see where it goes. I still believe we'll go through a recession. The price will drop under where we're at right now, 151. And then we will be able to scoop that up at a little bit better price. Who has, who has this though? Go buy actions, I said earlier, right? Warren Buffett, his company, Apple, right here. 40% almost of his entire portfolio for Berkshire Hathaway is Apple stock. 40%. Wow. In other words... He, he would not be that heavy into Apple stock unless he truly believed in this company and that they have such an advantage with all the different products and everything else they have that they are basically solid moving forward with the revenue, their profit margins, everything. And I can see exactly what he sees in this. You watch it, you look at the numbers, you see the growth, you see the loyalty of the customers. It is screaming long-term opportunity and that that to me is just wild if you come back and you say well let's take a look at the charts here and go back to the max and you imagine this and you don't even have to go back that far you go back to 2009 which was what 13 14 years ago three dollars a share and now you're up 41 times your money in 12 years does apple have what it takes to continue to dominate and make a lot of money moving forward I believe they do, but, and we got it's a big but, we got to wait and see what they come up with in the product line, the R&D, of course, uh, a lot of things. I know AI is going to be a big thing moving forward. I'll be interested in seeing how they can incorporate AI into their product lines, because I think that's going to be a match made in heaven. And of course, uh, the EV talks out there. There's so many different things that Apple can do in the loyal customers. I always think of Elon with his, his customers and Tesla. Apple has the same kind of, of loyalty to their product. So I'll be interested in seeing how that goes moving forward. 
how much money can be made, and of course, uh, the revenue grows, how close we come to the actual predictions that we're seeing. To me, people always say, if you're gonna invest in Apple, how would you do it, Mo? You know, I still believe dollar cost averaging is your friend. So if you are gonna hold this for the next five, 10 years, the Apple stock price prediction, I told you what I got for it. I told you the, where it could go in the next 22 months. It's not gonna be one of your high flyers where, oh, it's up 100, 200%. This isn't it. Uh, is there always a chance of that? Well, you saw Tesla go up 100% in a month. Yeah, and we just saw that. So there's always a chance. I don't believe that'll happen with Apple. I think Apple's more stable, if you will. And I, I think as we look at Apple, it'll continue to have some great growth moving forward, depending on that R&D, the product line and everything else, and the overall economy. If we see a recession, which I think we will, then you're gonna see some price pressure on this. It might drop 10, 20%. It won't go much more than I think than the, uh, the NASDAQ does. Uh, but then once we start the next bull cycle, I think a lot of money that's been on the sideline will rush into companies that they think are going to be leaders, and that could be Apple. And so that's how I'm going to play it, and I'm going to watch for it. Now, if you haven't done it, take advantage of the Weeble link down there, $1. Get yourself up to 12 free stocks worth of 30000 and go over there to Moo Moo. They got the $100 deposit. You get the stock screener for free, the get earnings calendar, five stocks worth up to two, two grand a piece. And then come on over to the Patreon and join me. We got the portfolios, the Discord, the buys and sells, the private videos. There's all kinds of stuff. I would really, and, and we still got the 15% off, uh, not even code, but the 15% off for annual people who, if you want to sign up for a year. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.